What's going everybody? My name is Chris and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD Blind Somewhat. Uh, in the last episode we actually started over there at the pictograph place and um... <laughs> now we're out in the middle of the sea apparently. This is a new recording session. Uh, huh. Alright, let's figure out where the heck we're going here. We have to go that, that way. Well... I mean the wind's already pointing that way so let's go. But sail! Alright, hold on a second. No, no, no! Damn it! So I wanna, I wanna, I wanna get to that. I do. It's true. It's true. No! Uh, okay, in the last game it was to press, or you just pressed A to stop, I think. And A in this game makes sail come up. And it's really confusing, it hurts my brain. And, um, hold on a second. There's a map here we- Dude! There's a map here we have not opened. Let's open the map. Ooh, very interesting. I have no idea where that is. <laughs> Ooh, Treasure Chair 1, though. Um, oh, this one is... Dude! I don't know what is with the Wii U. You pre the sensitivity is crazy. That is a heart shaped island. Interesting. All right. Oh, holy crap. There's a lot of maps we have not opened yet, apparently. That is very pixelated island. <laughs> that's what it's called. Very pixelated island. Another a triangle, hey? I was going to say another heart shaped island, but that's not a heart shaped island. Tingle charts. Have we opened this yet? Well, um, okay, so we see where Tingle's Island, I'm assuming it's circled there and marked out in crayon. <laughs> we also see other things on this map. We see two little, looks like fairies, and the top and left squares there, and then Windfall Island. Hmm, interesting. It also tells us where we are, too. Huh, I don't think the last game did that. Alright, I want to pull items here. Okay, that's on the Y. So theoretically, I should hit, oh, there we go. I don't know. For some reason, it's not coming up on my um, thing that I could press left for the uh, the freaking gosh dog diggity grappling hook. I had to press it on my whatever. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so you get a purple loopy. That's just great. Um, oh, that was back already. Uh, you'll see all these shiny spots all across the ocean. I mean, the ones with the big like beams of light shooting out. Those are the ones you get with the treasure charts, which become a lot more important. Or they are a lot more important, I should say. And uh, contrary to th that one I just pulled up was just a little tiny one, little tiny baby one. All right, let's head towards that island. I am gonna try and get to as many islands as possible as I travel to and fro destination destination. Um, mostly because there's actually not too many dungeons in this game compared to other Zelda games. There's only, I guess if you include the last one, seven. Yes, yeah, seven. Um, as you could, you guys probably tell from the amount of hard containers you get in the game, which are all often like they're synonymous with how many bosses you fight in the game, essentially. But I mean, that's whoa, 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 that is some very interesting philosophical related stuff. Is that what he did? I don't remember what he did, to be honest, but that's okay. Uh, let's head towards this island. Oh, I love when the ocean turns to these things and it's sunset and it's so beautiful. Ah. <laughs> um, so in between episodes, I actually did some research and I made that, I made a list of all the things. Ooh, I think I know what the sound is actually. Oh, there's a fish. Ooh, I'm pretty sure I know what the sound is. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is pretty important. Hey, look, there's a, there's a treasure chariot over here. Where are you, Mr. Fish Guy? Oh, man. Look at all this crap. Um, I think there's something up with my options here. Uh, yeah, that's controller. There we go. Let's turn that back on. I prefer to see what items I'm holding and all that crap. Uh, where's my bait bag? There we go. Sure, actually, you use the one we have first. Yay! Come here, Mr. Fishy! I wish to see you! <laughs> I can't even see his mouth, like the bait just pulled underwater. Holy small fry! Alright, open my chart for me. Or, I'll open my chart. That's a pretty small chart, to be fair. Holy crap! Is it gonna tell me? Oh, it says Private Oasis. It's weird. It doesn't pop up like it normally did. It's just on the left. So tell me, Smart Fry, have you heard of the Golden Set of Triumph Forks? It's right there, I tell you. The, art the article genuine. In that house. If you want it, you better 
uh, get in there and scour the place from floor to ceiling. That's all I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you have to throw more bait and stuff. I can't go fighting evil on evil stomach, or evil, evil on an evil stomach, yep. <laughs> so, Triumph Forks. Interesting. Maybe wondering what the heck Triumph Forks, Triumph Forks are, and I wondered the exact same thing. Link from Dragon Roost Island. Link is awesome. Perfect. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, I like all of my stuff is on my menu screen again. Shall we get this? You know what? I'm going to leave most of those to a later date. I did collect one just to kind of show you guys as a, as a tutorial. But later on, I am going to do a very Nintendo Capri Sun-esque thing. Ooh, I should not actually leave my boat over here. I guess I could, but it'd be kind of a pain in the butt anyway. So let's just make, ourselves, make our way around this island and save ourselves some time here. Um, there's actually not very much we can do at this island at this point in time, but let's get out and explore it real quick, because this is probably my favorite island in the game. Um, it's fantastic. It's so peaceful. Oh, hey, look, it even stopped raining because of how peaceful everything is. <laughs> do we seriously not get to see? Uh, I guess we don't get to see when the day-night cycle is with this. Hey, wait a minute! But, well, first of all, look at just look at this place. It's freaking beautiful, man. So beautiful. And we have these like, little lights here. Probably like light detection lights when it gets too dark. <gasps> it's a Korok! Your tree doesn't look too good. Hello, swordsman! I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? I just saw you, actually. <laughs> I think it was the last episode of the episode before. I've come here to plant the great deck of tree seed. What? Look! Oh boy, I don't know why I'm Mickey Mouse. Usually the forest trees sprout quite vigorously whenever you plant them, but for some reason this one has withered. We want to bet that the trees my fellow crocs have planted are withering as well. It seems that when one tree fails to grow from its seed, all the forest trees from the year's seeds wither and fail to grow tall and mighty. What are we to do? If we are not able to nurse these trees, I hope the forest will never spread and the great decker tree will slowly wither and die. Why would he slowly wither and die if his babies did what? Maybe if we could sprinkle water from the forest haven on the tree, maybe then the sapling would be saved. The water is well... The water is the wellspring of the Great Deku Tree's life force. Sorsman, can you go to the Forest Haven and get some water that flows around the Great Deku Tree? Uh, could you uh, get some and sprinkle on this poor forest tree? Please, please help. They actually did a pretty good job of explaining why you need the Forest Haven's uh, water. The tree is withering. And also looks very freaking creepy at that. Look at that face on it. Why are you so creepy? <laughs> Just look at this place though. It's a freaking waterfall and crap. Uh, there's a freaking cabin up here. It's like, good lord, I have a lot of fond memories of this place. Look at these beautiful flowers that I'm destroying. And then there's this guy. Ho oh, oh, ho! One, one flying seagull! No, two! Two flying seagulls! Wait, I see more seagulls! Three, four, five, now six! No, no, seven seagulls! Eight! This is madness! Eight seagulls! That is very sp Oh, actually! Eight seagulls, huh? That is actually a hint towards something. So you'll see this guy occasionally. And whenever you see him, look at where he's pointing his telescope and look that way. I see two. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I see two seagulls. Three, four. <laughs> so over there, if we were to float over there, we would see something special. However, we can't do anything about that special thing at the moment. So we're not going to do that. But it's there for future stuff. Miss Marie's cabana, property of the Windfall Island's lovely teacher. It is not welcome, the management. Um, Miss Marie, I don't think we've been introduced to her yet, so I'm not going to talk about her. Oh, we're going to crawl in. Oh, we actually get the free crawl in here instead of it just giving you one direction to go. Hey, if I ever, there's no point to doing this. I have maxed out my wallet, actually. Oops. <laughs> uh, well, whatever, just a few rupees. No one cares, and... Wow, this is really awkward to control. I'm holding straight and links like straying to the left or right for some reason. Wow, that's so weird to control. I don't like that one bit actually. Um, no, no, get out, Link. Get out of Mr. Linkus. Uh, let's go up here. Can we just go inside, anyways. I mean, don't touch me with those filthy hounds, you mischievous little scamp. Ahem, this cabana belongs to the master and the master alone. You grimy trespassing little scoundrel. Away with you. Away, I say. Yeah, this is a talking door. <laughs> um, I, I don't, I don't understand it. I don't get it. I really want to go up there, but I don't think my deck. Ooh, actually, maybe my deck of leaf would let me get up there. Eh, whatever. <laughs> I don't feel like dealing with it. So yeah, this is all this island has to offer right now. We will come back here later. 
Because as you know, nothing is inaccessible in a Zelda game. Alright, let's go back to our map here and get rid of the stupid square. Good lord, mate. Our matey. Alright, we need the mo- you know what? Let's go north. And then go just do west from there. I normally actually go west and then north, but you know, just to be different, let's go this way. Let's go this away. And hopefully not run into all those seagulls. I think they're more towards that way. So it would actually be very bad. Oh no, it's raining. That's normally a bad sign. We're about to run just the seagulls. They all swarm together and they eat us. <laughs> no, that'd be great, wouldn't it? So most of these like lowy spots right here, some of them only actually appear at nighttime. They're a bit weird. I never really dealt with them too much playing the game before. Uh, the thing with it raining too is it makes it very hard to see where the next island is. Alright, we're in the square. Oh, it stopped raining. Aha, there it is. Ooh, I do not recognize that island, actually. And, yeah, we should probably... Ooh, look at all the notes. Another message in a bottle. Yeah, actually, is that the first... That's the first haven, is it? Oh, I'm sailing pretty northwest. Oh, actually, I think the island is for the square is that one over there. Right? Oh, maybe not. Might be that over there, that one to the north, right above the tip of my dude. I look another bottle. Oh man, there's another bottle there too. I'm not going for that one. That's that's too far off course. <laughs> it's gonna be so hard not to go for these. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do about cutting this stuff out. Although a lot of people do, I don't like to do that. It's part of the game. It's part of traveling. It's why I love this game so much. Actually, I love all the traveling. I love open, vast areas of emptiness. It just makes the land feel so much more real. Oh no, we're totally gonna hit that. No! Oh, actually, I could have shown what happens when you hit. All it does is it turns you like 180 degrees around. We have three of them. Holy crap. What are you doing so far out here, Beetle? You're just out in the middle of nowhere, aren't you? And, oh, man. Oh, man. It's so beautiful. It's dawn. Oh, just look at the freaking. Oh, my God, you guys. Orgasmic orgasms. <laughs> oh, come on. Get up there, Link. Get up there. Are we gonna get up there? Anytime? Come on, there we go. Sheesh. Whoa, what's this? Oh, thank you as always. I appreciate your business. I have anything. If you have anything you want to sell, show me and I'll buy it from you. Or would you prefer to buy something? Do the circle size to be on my control. I don't carry arrows at this point in time. Please wait just a little longer, huh? I don't know when I'll get a shipment of bombs in. They're way too expensive for me to get in stock. The old guy is so greedy. The old guy? Oh, oh, it's from, he buys his bonds from Windfall Island. That's crazy. Red potions, three rupees. Um, when it comes to replenishing your hearts, nothing is more potent. Do you have an empty bottle? If you do, then buy. I don't know if I have an empty bottle. But let's see. I thought this was you actually sent me a bottle. Oh, I don't. What's in, oh, you know what? Is it a fairy? Might be a fairy. I don't know, let's take a look at these bottles while we're here. How do I get in the password? Dwarf not work. Can some please help? Well then, okay. <laughs> From Great Fish I'll give this photo to the Gossip Girls on the Windfall. Okay, no, no, that's that's spoilers. Ah oh, man, there's basically nothing worse than spilling your pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> He's so sad. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I did not know Beetle sold uh, red potions. Maybe that's just because I'm in hero mode. Alright, where is the island I wish to go to? Is it right there? It might be right there. Or right here. If I believe... If I'm correct here, I believe this is going to be a special kind of island. Take a look at where I am in conjunction. Dude, map please. Oh no, see we missed the island in the square. Well, whatever. And plong, I'll give a dog diggity. So really, I should probably do... Um, go just put put the wind to go due west at this point because we are just going west well northwest is pretty good I don't think it's oh I don't think it's oh like oh man I know it's spun like this that is really cool yay I don't know uh, oh, um, if how like how big the difference is but I do know like if you're if the wind sets to northwest and you're going west you're normally pretty good um, I will it will save a bit of time though so I will do it Alright, this is one of the Great Eye Reefs. 
that we actually can't do anything here yet, so we're actually not gonna fiddle around with this, since we'll be seeing a lot of these in the game. I believe there's like eight of them. So, we will be seeing plenty of these. Is there, oh, that's just a barrel. I thought, I thought there was like a sparkly thing up there. I was like, what is that? I must know. Is there a fish anywhere around here? I don't see him. Whoa, what the heck is that thing? Lord, these are like scary octo rocks, and I believe they spit bombs at you. Which is really weird, but okay. <laughs> see you guys later. Oh, jeez. Appearing right in front of me like that. How dare you, sir? How dare you? I am absolutely just. Why are there so many of them? They're so far out, too. I thought these guys were supposed to surround the island. That's weird, man. Uh, I believe the next island. Oh, we missed another one? Oh, wait. Yeah, we missed another one. Jeez, man. Oh, wait. No, it was the, great it was the reef there. Um, but yeah, there's no fish that I could see. If they were, it was somewhere, but I just didn't know where it was, and I didn't feel like looking for it. Yeah, so I might start cutting out the sailing. In fact, I probably will, so, but at the same time, it's like, I don't really want to. <laughs> if I get comments about it, maybe I will start cutting it out. Oh, I see another bottle. I see another miss. Oh, but fish is over here. Fish outweighs bottle. <laughs> I do need more bait, though. Um, bait bag. Perfect. And then there's these crazy assholes blocking me from the fish. They are kind of hard to avoid, actually. I'm kind of shocked I was able to avoid them. And it actually might hit me getting this fish here. I do have plenty of memories of trying to reach these fish and those assholes hit me. Alright, same text as normal. I gotcha. Like a silly little goofy goober. And what is this? What is this? Cyclops Reef. See, look, it's another reef. There's two reefs right beside each other. Um, seen weird rings of light that appear on the seas at night, haven't you? Just, I was talking about that earlier in this episode, actually. Yeah, well, those things are a sure sign there's treasure in the de deeps, fry. But let me tell you, there are some lights that don't always shine, yeah. There are these special ones that shine like crazy, but only when you open up a treasure chart. Say that those marked spots where greatest treasure are hidden. That's all the info I got to offer. So, what I, what I get? 200 rupees from the first one? Oh, good lord. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about those assholes. So, yeah, here's another reef. Once again, not gonna deal with it for now because we have nothing to really do with it. Uh, come on. Oh, I'm just waiting. If those guys hit you, they just knock you out of your boat and you get back in. I do believe they do a bit of damage to you, though. But yeah, so the treasure charts actually. Okay. Actually contain most often 200 rupees, but sometimes you'll get other special things like other special charts and heart pieces. So we will be going over them, all of them eventually. All. How many squares are there in this game, actually? No. Oh, yeah, all 49 treasure char or things we will be going over. No worries there. One out of 49 complete. Look at those assholes. Ah, girl, look at those assholes. Girl, look at those assholes. They work out, probably. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not going to really be dealing too much with those smaller rings, though. Maybe if I'm in, um great need of getting treasure or rupees I guess I think all that's ever in them is rupees so and you do get quite a bit of rupees especially because I do know all the changes in this game they make it so you don't have to get nearly as many rupees holy crap that island does not look like it's a happy place to be so that sparkly ring over there is out of bottle did I okay I thought there, I thought I got another bottle at some point but maybe it's I remember saying that one I saw and then I never got oops I did not want to put it away myself Oh man, there's the fish right there! Come on! Look, Link, do you see it? What has happened to this place? <laughs> great fish isle. Well, then this place looks pretty freaking great, doesn't it? What, what is the meaning of this? The, the island is... We are too late. I knew we had precious little time, but I never suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jabon once lived here. The no sign of him remains. I thought his name was Jabu. Hoi there, Link! Wait, hoi there, Link! Uh, I knew who that was, I just forgot that's who was talking here. I forgot he came here. It's kind of really interesting how he has the ability to fly. I mean, through all this wind and storm and all that. Hey, look at the bottle! <laughs> Ruining completely the, like, desperation this cutscene has. So you're here! I've been looking for you! Are you by chance seeking the great spirit, Jabun? I'm sorry to report that Jabun can no longer be found here. He's at the bottom of the ocean, dead. 
<laughs> Just look at how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this too is the work of the shadow of the Forsaken Fortress. But fear not, Jabanon was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He is in a safer abode now. Would you like to guess where that abode may be? On the island where you were born, on outset. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I love the delayed react chat too, it's great. Yeah, even if you were to go to outset right now, you would not be able to see Jabanon. The cave already hides is sealed with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why, not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in. Must apologize, Link. I thought of any if anyone would know of the whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without as much of a thought for the consequences. I don't know what they hope to get, but they immediately set out for outside island and tried to break into the cave. It is lucky that they cannot gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but what I do not know. But to do what, maybe? So he said, I, I kind of messed that up. If you wish to see Jabun, I think you'd be you better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. What an eerie isle this is. Everywhere else it boasts clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. Valu must be must have been right when he asked me to bring the word of Jabun to you. He called this island cursed. I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to. That is your decision. I've told you of Jabun, so my task is complete. Yeah, this place is a pretty creepy. So, we don't have much to do here. And this is actually a pretty significantly small island. But, see, this place looks like it was, like, bombed or something. You can definitely tell people once lived here. I believe there's actually houses if you're looking around. Actually, we, I believe we saw some of the cutscene. So, we actually can't really do much here right now anyways. Pirate ship. Evan? What? <laughs> uh, this is from the pirate ship? That's wrong though. This is clearly outside island. That's really weird. Huh, maybe you could label. Okay, is there another one over here? Okay, we got enough of this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name's Chris, and the next episode we will quickly explore with what little is left? Oh, there's there's a house up there, actually. See it? Um, let's pull my telemoscope. Oh, it still kind of remains. Oh, that'd be so cool to be able to go up there and explore, but there is, I'm pretty dang sure there's no way to get up there. Uh, yeah, next episode, we'll explain, explore what little remains of this island, and then head off to... I believe it said Windfall Island, right? There's all the way up... Oops, right here. Actually, it's not as far... So I thought it was. It's crazy how small Windfall Island looks. Like how massive Dragon Roost Island is. Huh, so cool. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.